Back to the VR League Onward Invitational brought to you by Intel, where we're still in our first series of the day. Uh, but it's a really, really good one. I'm Matt Andrews, joined by Pansy and Nightfire and Cargo is where we go. That's yes. what you wanted. Ooh. Yes. A um, few more little positioning changes that I need to tell you, though. You're saying Sinkus is out and Woods is in. So we will have on beginners, Woods is staying, uh, Woods is back. Okay. And Sinkus, Sinkus, who stepped in for him on the second map, Sinkus is still playing. Kensai is out of this one. So the beginners roster is Peasley, Smoils, and Dr. Killinger still. Oh. Woods. And Sinkus, not Kensai. So this is something they planned. Yeah, it's interesting. I it is. Let's switch up. Highlight reel, and Kensai was in a couple of those plays. Yeah, he Kensai was, did some did some picks. He was fine. Yeah, he didn't underperform drastically. I think it's just maybe a different role, different map. Yeah, yeah. Approach. Well, Sinkus was uh, sorry, Woods was uh, back on that stage like that as yeah. soon as they'd lost that map. So I think, I mean, they know there's a turnaround time mm. between maps, and then they're not about to hit cargo straight away. But yeah. clearly, he's fired up and ready to be on this thing. Yeah, yeah, which is good to see. He's yeah. down there watching it, and so you know, yeah. it's it's really hard to watch your own team in a game like that mm. when, when you're you three 0 up, and then you lose it like that, and you can't do anything. Uh, I'm sure he just wanted to yeah. rush the stage regardless. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's finally up there now. Maybe he can do some damage in cargo. So we have a four-two win for beginners, and then a four-three win for SMC, turning that. 3-0 deficit round into a win. So I feel like the charges with SMC, I feel like they're a team we've seen celebrate when they're doing well and use that energy. And I think beginners, like you were saying, just couldn't quite push that last point home. And if you couldn't do it then, I'm not sure they'll do it on Cargo either. I don't know. Cargo seems to be the one that doesn't seem to fall into any other category I though. Yeah. I think this is the one where it's like, if you want to win, this is your chance. I yeah. think it's, it's, it's kind of that open ball game, right? If you can shake off that last bit for beginners, they had a great start. They picked yeah. up map one. Yeah. They put three rounds on the board. They were they were one round away from closing this out, and it looked yeah. close as well. Like they could have done it, but it didn't happen. Yeah. If you can just collect yourself and come back in, Cargo can be your map. I don't doubt it. But again, on the other side, SMC. You look at the other side of the coin, turned it around, came back yeah. in, all these rounds in Nobody a row. Nobody can I mean, stop us now. Exactly. You were saying this is the raw skill. Yeah, map. and the reason I say that is because Cargo is one of the newer additions uh, with this patch. We don't have a lot of practice on it. A lot of teams haven't sat around and done dry runs on this mm -hmm. map like I've seen on other ones. So you don't really have necessarily any specific plan strategies. Maybe we'll see something come out. We see a lot of the shield play on this map in I particular. Like so I, I like expect that. some more some more tandem shielding to see. Yeah. Tandem shielding. We're enjoying the tandem. Yeah, I love it. I love seeing the LMG sitting on top of that. Up over, I guess it's not tandem shields. One shield and an LMG behind <laughs> yeah. him, uh, sitting up top and, and shooting over. It's just fantastic team. Let us know who you think at the beginners and SMC are going to take this thing. Uh, ESL.gg slash SMC versus Beg. We're still doing that because we're still actually doing that. Uh, so vote on Facebook. Tell us who you think can turn this thing around. I, I am picking SMC. Yeah, I'm leaning there as well. I think they're a team that really rides momentum. Currently, 57% of you think beginners uh -huh. will push this thing through. Okay. It's Surprise. not the first time the audience has been wrong. So, <laughs> like, I might as well flame them. You know what I mean? you got to get some spice in here. Oh, yeah. Spice it up. There, there's not spicy enough for you. No, not yet. Third map. Okay. I want I want banter. I want, like, acceptable levels of flame. Right. I want that sort of, like, you know, bridging gap. That's oh, what I'm here for. It's a real eSport, then. Exactly. <laughs> I, like, the thing is, right, it's very rare you'll be in a setup like this where you're this close to your opponents. Yeah, true. I, you can hear it to a degree. I mean, at the end of the round, you take your head off, you shout, you, you get hyped yeah. up, you, you feel a bit of it, you get that hype going. I kind of want a bit of that. I kind of want to get these teams getting a little bit rowdy, a little in their faces, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, get, the, get that going. We all know they're good friends. We all know they, you know they are, like, a friendly bunch. They go out, they get the beers at the end of the evening, they kick back, they chill. But look, when they look the game, terrifying right I know, now. Though. So look at Jordan ready to kill beginners all yeah, over yeah. the map. No, but uh, I, I do like it. You know, when it gets to these deciding maps, these teams do get riled up. They start to get, you know, they feel that pressure. They feel that adrenaline start to run. And yeah. this is this is what I want to see. I want to get them, you know, actually really feeling this game now. I think you're onto something there. Actually, we've talked about how players in this, it's different for them compared to the many times players have gone to a LAN and struggled because, you know, they are visibly at a LAN. For these guys, oh, we're on a stage, oh, that might be a bit unusual. Put the headset on, oh no, I know where I am, I'm on cargo. Right. However, you feel this game because it's so immersive and you are physically doing it. So I think if somebody, you know, a couple of meters away from you is screaming as they win the round, I think that might have a different effect on you because it's right there and it's that. real. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's a very different feeling when you know the, the pressure's on you as an individual player. 
Um, I think you can't bounce back as easily. Yep. I think you need that. Certain players respond to certain things. If you look at other games where this has been you know, more tried and tested, certain players need that good start. They need that little bit of a bump, that boost that gets them going. Get a couple of kills to begin with. They feel great. They feel hot. They've got the hot hand in the game. If they don't get that start, gets into their head. Yeah. You know, they start feeling bad. They start you know, feeling, oh, am I dragging down the team? What's, what, you know, what, why can't I do this? And that's where it can become an issue. Yeah, you, you see people like uh, Beefy yesterday. He stumbled into a bit of an Ofer streak there. And when you yeah. can't get any kills, and you yeah. just keep getting punished. It really does affect you. And I talked to him after that after that match, and he's like, I, I just couldn't get anything going. I don't know why. Yeah. And then he's been playing pretty well, in my opinion, the yeah. last few days. So in the last day, so you can really you can come back from these sorts of things. You can it, regather. It's bad enough when it's you know a number on your screen, and yeah. you're not making the kills, and that number isn't changing. It's worse, I think, when you are standing there, dead, in a VR game, and everybody yeah. around you is still playing this thing, and you are physically like, I'm done here. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Not You're a bit of a anything. chocolate teapot. Oh, yeah. Went on you. If you'd like to experience what it's like playing on an Oculus Rift, you can win one by donating at esl.im slash donate. Donate at least $5, and you'll be entered into our draw to win an Oculus Rift. We gave one away yesterday. There's another one ready to go to someone today. And ESL.im slash donate is where you can make your donation to support the incredible work that Stack Up do. That's who we're raising money for over this weekend. Stack Up supporting US and allied veterans through the wonderful power of gaming and geek culture events yeah. and all of that. So we cool. love it, and they will share it with people who really actually need that kind of thing yeah. in their lives, whether it be returning to uh, civilian life, or whether it might be in just the back of beyond in some hellish place where a bit of gaming at the end of what you might loosely call a day <laughs> is what you need. So get on board with esl.im slash donate, and if you want to find out more about the great work that Stack Up do, you can do that at stackup.org, where you can also find out what your donations can do and what you can do if money isn't something that perhaps you can give, but maybe time is something you have. All of that at stackup.org. We go to the third map of this on cargo very, very shortly. Ooh. Ooh. Do keep with the votes on Facebook to let us know who you think is going to win it. One all. And we've got so much more to do as who well. Do you think you, who do you, who you reckon is going to win? Well, I, I think SMC have got the charge. Yeah. Um, and I, I've not seen enough of beginners turning around bad situations, literally right. in rounds and also psychology. Yeah. Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they're a team that definitely is able to ride that momentum. If they mm. can come out of this cargo map mm. with a, with the potential with a, maybe a cap early or a, or a oh, nice bulk of that, defense, that could be big. That'll do it. They can, they can really ride that momentum as well. The winner of this will play Mob Squad in the next round of this Onward Invitational. Mob Squad await <sighs> them after making the, a win in their first game yesterday against Beginners. And then what a great yeah. game we saw after that against Globo Camp. Yes. That was... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's one you don't forget. That, yeah, that, was, that yeah. was incredible. Yeah, there's two more games to go this weekend. Uh. Uh, Mob's got to wait the winner of this in the deciding match, and then the winner of that game will face Globochem, who are just chilling all day long awaiting yep. the grand final. Yeah, I don't I don't know how that's going to play for Globochem. I think we're talking about players that play off momentum. Pants yep. is one of those guys. If yep. he can't get kills earlier, if he can't feel the his shots early, he can yep. kind of fall into a slump. And so, I don't know, maybe this won't. We'll still be interesting to see, at the very least, that uh, I wouldn't mind a Global Chem Mob Squad rematch. Yeah, it's, as well, if you look back to classic, um, more established, I guess, tournaments and esports, when the brackets play out like this, normally it's the team who does, you know, X well in the group, say they top out the groups or something of this format, and they go straight to the semi finals, for example. More often than not, they don't do well. They come yeah. in cold. They don't feel out the game as much, and it is a psychological thing. I don't know what it is that defines it, but some of these players do not respond well. We're going to find out. You know, if these yes, guys yes. feel the same, it could be very different. Globo Chem are waiting, uh, whoever they're going to play in the grand final, some way off from now. Uh, they're a team that everybody fears. Though. They're a team that everybody knows were the favorites coming into this. Yeah. Four seasons uh, of VR competition that we've had, Globo Chem have won three of them. Beginners, though, are the team who won the other one in season three. So beginners can do it, and they beat Globo Chem yeah. to win season three as well. Um, yeah, Globo Chem are waiting and waiting and waiting to find out who it is. <laughs> we will bring you Cargo right now. It's on between Beginners and SMC. And if Excellent. SMC win this, and if SMC win against Mob Squad, then they will be on a charge and Globo Chem await. Little way before we get there yet, Cargo with Bowie and Radar. Thank you very much, Matt. I am very excited. This is map three, and we're going to be on Cargo. We've had so much action between these two teams thus far. And, I mean, to bring it onto a very, very small map like Cargo, it's going to be... 
a one hell of a finisher. Like someone said, it's all about skill on this map. Yeah. You know, the, the tactics play a part, but skill is a real, real divider on this map. Mm. And also the attitudes and just being able to pick up those kills yeah. and cover those corners. I'm feeling a lot. I'm, I'm so hyped for this game. I'm, oh, just, yeah. I'm not oh, even. Yeah. I'm not even down there right now. Yeah, I'm sweating. sweating. Yeah. Two seconds to go. We're going to be jumping into this first round of our final map of the losers bracket match to see who's going to play Mob Squad. Will it be beginners or will it be SMC Tactical? Let's find out. Suppression fire already coming out from yeah, beginners. They've lost one on the cross. They they uh, something. Oh, they, they crossed, and yesterday they took out two mob squad doing exactly the same thing. Exactly. They lost yeah, one on their own. Yeah, yeah. Trying to. Whoa, that's a grenade. Oh, got one of them. We've got a Mr. Beefy's. No, it's not Mr. Beefy's. But one of the Marsock is down. It's Captain Selva. He caught a grenade to the face. <laughs> to the face. face he, is, he is. He is. <laughs> face grenade. He's brought up again, and he will be back in the game. But one more down, and he is done for good. Yep. Let's see our players here to in position. To the east of the ejector, there we can see Woods is facing down that alleyway now. Mr. Beefy is get, trying to get Ooh. an angle. They can see each other. They know they're both there. <laughs> Mr. Beefy, they're behind this black box. Woods. Who will blink first? Can he get the angle? Oh. He's getting a smoke up. I don't know what he's intending to do with it. Maybe he's going to flank it. Yeah, he's just using it to get away from there without getting caught out. Okay, nice. This long range section here down the long crate. Landon going to just have a little bit of a pop out there. Can he make his way forward? Go, goes for a play across the map. Second beginners down, not out, but down. This is looking bad for beginners. They take him out, but there is a Smoils then covers that and takes the A player down, but Smoke. another one down. Yep, refrag followed by another refrag. We're down to two defenders now. This is looking bad for beginners. Not the, not the start they wanted into their final map right now. It's Soul Survivor now. One beginner's left at the back of the map. Sinky is all that stands in the way of SMC Tactical. Got Mr. Beefy and Honey Half looking to look after him there. As Landon Jordan is looking across. He can see him. Sinkas gets a almost well, a hit, but gets shot. taken out. Yep. He had good to job, he had to rush job, the objectives and he had no choice. Yeah, that is. Beginners losing that first round. SMC 1-0 up then in that first start. Very aggressive and yeah. fast-paced first round. Absolutely. I I I, <laughs> I think beginners can still do this, but they are. That was that that first down straight away from them in the first three or four seconds really psychologically I think affected them. Yeah, it kind of moved and just happened to be a very very, very um, unfortunate position for them. Um, you know, it's not over yet. I just kind of think maybe sink. I not sink out. I don't think. Uh, beginners here now, you know, they've, they've lost four games in a row. They're one nail down already. That's not a huge deficit, but it is a deficit. They need to make sure that they keep their composure. If it's they start flailing, it's going to become even worse. Yeah, it really is. And what we can see here is that SMC are mirroring Global Games' comeback yesterday against Mob Squad. Are they going to make it a full. <laughs> is it eight pointer again? It was eight pointer. They, they, yeah. they would have to make a full eight pointer just like Global Cam did. They're on five. So. They're over the halfway point. Three more to go. Can SMC Tactical do it? Let's find out on the next exciting episode of Onward Invitational Cargo 2018. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> right? <laughs> Good luck, <Lou. laughs> So uh, we, we, what's also interesting here is, is Mr. Beefy is drawing out tactics. We heard it actually using that as tactics in the last round. Did you see the route I gave you? No, he was, he was, he, this is communication. He is using that board mm. directly to throw out tactics to his teammates. Yeah, I think they might be aware that the uh, the audio, even though they got noise cancelling headphones on, he's quietly drawing it out and not speaking. And also, yeah. we could see Jalana doing exactly the same thing. I think as well, you know, it's a very it's a very electric atmosphere here yeah. in there. Like the audience is getting very very involved. The other players are you know loving it and watching it. So they're making a lot of noise, getting hyped for the play. So sometimes I think they need to rely on you know more silent means of communication if it does get loud in this yeah. room because they of course they're in VR but they are in a real space as well that does have noise. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this is a uh, once again a reminder that the uplink gives the attacking team, which is Marsok, which in this case is going to be beginners. It gives them two points for getting an uplink. If they kill the enemy team, they only get one point. Tactical, yeah. I believe, right? Tactical um, SMC, SMC tactical, currently yeah. blue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. Oh no. So SMC tactical are on defense. Sorry. <laughs> no, they they were defending the last game, weren't they? I could have sworn they were. I think they were orange last time. SMC and be and because the beginners were making the play onto the objective, right? I Am I completely? I you are completely right. Yeah. You are completely right. I am completely wrong. Yeah, it doesn't nice. happen often. Hey, <laughs> but it does happen. Don't push this left side. I think our map is different than the map. Uh, this 
is the same objective. I don't understand why they're getting worried. Anyway, the point is, it's off. Round two, map three. Thank you for making sure I was incorrect. I really need that. I do. I honestly do need that. Did you see that stack up? We had a three-man stack up trying to punish the cross where they got punished, but instead, one of SMC made it across, but only one tried. And he's moving in exactly the same position where we saw Kent's... Not Kent's side, sorry. We saw... Hmm, our beginner's player, I can't remember who it was. Anyway... Beginners with the aggression. The vote still in the favour of beginners right now. 55 to 54 percent in favour of beginners. But there is a down for SMC Tactical. Oh, Punk is in a really awkward position to get him back up as well. Yep. So far forward, if they make that call, there's going to be players who are waiting to, to, to take them out. He gets up, he gets the res. Beefy showing his courage once again. Uh-oh. He's having difficulty getting he's him up. Dro he's dropped the syringe and he gets, and he gets him up. up. Okay. All right, so five defenders still in play. We've got a shield in play from Woods. But there's Mr. Beefy around their side there. Dr. Killinger needs to be looking the other way. But we're not seeing a tandem like we saw from Global Chem and Mob Squad. We're only seeing Woods by himself with the shield. We aren't seeing someone stacked up on it. Or has that stack just arrived? No? Still no stack, as far as I can see. Tension now as, as we hit this kind of stalemate. Beefy gets a throw over the top with that grenade. No one gets caught. Again, the physicality of VR, you know, they really did that swing over the top of himself there with the, with the grenade. I just looked down and saw him do it. It really matters. You have to have the arm for a throw in this game. Mm. There's no holding down a button throwing a grenade. You physically have to throw that grenade. You can hear the players right now getting so vocal on the Woods, floor. Yeah, Woods requesting backup. As I was saying, you know, the only environment they play this is at home, so it's easy to forget the stage they're on. We've got it here. Woods has called for the stack up. We've got it now. So Sinkas is with Woods. We've got the right shield and the assault player behind. There's one down. Beginners oh, get a catch. What a pick off there. No refrag coming out from Pwncake. He couldn't get the angle on it. Oh, no. <laughs> he dropped the shield. <laughs> Again, VR, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you have to hold it up. Yep. You can't let go. Oh, oh no! What no! Down, 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 two down, down, down in the media, but in the media. But a refrag from killing us straight away. Catch back. This is three v three right now. These are, these players are locked into this match. Yep. The refrag's really coming out in this one, and you really have to. Like we didn't see yesterday from Mob Squad once again. The refrags didn't come out when they needed them against Global Chem. There's a lot of pressure when you hear the gunfire. You want to get down all, you know, a little bit like real life. You know, you don't want to be in the way of those bullets. But you have to, st you know, in this team play, you have to hear where those bullets come from and immediately return fire. Because the person who took down your teammate has to be in a position that was open enough for them to make the shot. Therefore, they're in a position open enough to get taken down. So you've really got to capitalize that as a, yeah. as a teammate. The defense here from SMC, they are looking adaptive. They're not sitting static. We can see one of them rotating around to the objective to give them over overwatch on it. Meanwhile, beginners giving away the position. Peasley real close there, not realizing how close he is to an enemy player. Making his way down this long shoe. Got Honey Half there ready to catch him, and it's 3-2. to two. Yep. Honey Half getting that catch when he needed it. Very ready for that moment. You see Smoyles locked in now, looking for a peek. Look at Smoyles. Yeah, Smoyles. Dr. Killinger going round the western side of this map, making some fast play, trying to just lock down the objective if he can. But you can see all of the KOs on the side of beginners have been on that no, eastern side of the map. They're covering that side very, very well. Sorry for that. Anyway, you see Captain Soba, the newbie on SMC Tactical, yeah, making been, a name for himself. Been a bit of a thorn, a thorn in, in the side, a bit of a wild card for a lot of players here. So he's been able to kind of disrupt as much as he can. Only three or four weeks on the team. It's on interesting to see Killinger has made a rotation back around to the same side. All of his teammates died on it. Maybe they think they've been seen elsewhere, but if you look at SMT Tactical, look at the way they're pointing. All three of them are pointing directly at where beginners are. Yeah, I they think they were, they were expecting a double bluff, or kind of like want, uh, expecting to get away with a, a double bluff, rather. Yeah. Um, now they're returning away, so they're questioning the assumption here. There's only a minute 20 left on this map. They need to make some kind of play onto the objective. Now here comes what, what we saw a lot yesterday from uh, Global Chem and from Mob Squad. It was them picking up the shields, picking up different weapons, and we're not seeing the same kind of play from beginners, and it's kind of a 
it's telling that that's just not something that they've trained themselves to do. If it was Mob Squad or, or Global Camp, I would have assumed yeah. one of them would have picked up that shield just to put it on his back. It gives you coverage on your back, so. Look at this moment here, they hear Killinger. Prepping a grenade, he's aware of where Honey Half's location is. He times it, he throws it. Is it going to be in the right location? It, it is! is. Take him down! Oh, Great what a grenade! Perfect grenade, and it was on a man who'd already been taken down and, and, re and injected earlier. Smiles then, picking up the shield, yeah. proving me wrong. They may have trained this, and again, Smiles is a very creative player, as I mentioned in the past. So he's got the shield. Uh, yeah. It's two on two, Smiles gets taken down, killing a not with the refrag. Killinger does get it now, it's one on one again! Got the refrag. Killinger, 25 seconds left, there's Landon Jordan. He's right in front of him, he doesn't know where Killinger's gonna get taken down. No, he doesn't! Landon doesn't make the shot, but he does see Killinger, he seconds. knows where he is. The rotation's there, the returning fire rate. Does, does he get the KO or not? Does he he's get the reloading. win? He oh, does it! And Landon Jordan. gets it! Wow, that was so intense. <laughs> Look at Lanigan, his hands are in the air. He is excited about that one. A 1v1 yet again, and they've won it. SMC 2 0 up. Yeah, wow, 1 to 1. And, and they're on the aggressive side again. Yep. What does that mean? That means they can make the cap. That means they can bring this home. That means they could be up against Mob Squad in a few hours. <laughs> in a few hours? <laughs> Hopefully, in a few minutes. <laughs> Could you imagine? Great. Uh, <laughs> I suppose you're right. <laughs> that's one, that is one hell of a clock. You've got that right there. Uh, but it is 2-0. This is incredible work from SMC echoing the play that Globochem made yesterday on Mob Squad with that incredible eight-round sweep. They, they are, are currently at yeah. six. They got two more points to go. Two more points to go to equal Globochem's dominating run. It is It is quite intense to see how it happened. It just takes a moment of... Uh, of a, well, a, a lacking concentration from one team to just lose momentum in these games, and it just immediately stacks against them. And you can just see how confident SMC are. If you look down at these players as well, they're you know they're standing confidently. They're you know they're they're the body, just the feeling body language themselves. says yeah, everything. Yeah. The body language says everything. Uh, it's really you've, if, begin, if you were beginners right now, you were so close to taking this away. You were three zero up on the last map. Yeah, so close. And now here we are. They're on the back foot. The two zero down. They must be. Oh, I can't even imagine the psychology that's going on. Absolutely, right yeah. These players are just kind of... They are well into this match now, and they're probably going to be getting a little bit tired at this point too, emotionally and physically. But uh, round three, SMC Tactical 2 on the attacking side. Beginners on the defense, zero. Aggressive push. No, they're pre-firing. They can't even see a player running, but they're pre-firing that run across. We've seen so many times people taking down. They don't. They don't see a player. They're just firing there, just to try and catch someone as they cross. Yeah. They're running through the tunnel. A few of them. Right, so we can see now that we've got two SMC players pushed up. Pwncake in a real open position here. Landon on a corner, so he's got a bit more cover. But Pwncake's really out in the open. Grenade goes out, but no one goes down from our uh, display there. See our players getting ready. Jordan and Pwncake here together. MC SMC not satisfied by moving slowly. They're, they're probing, they're probing, they're probing, they're looking. Yeah. They aren't move. They're, they're, they're moving cautiously, but they're not moving slowly. And they're very proactive right now. They need to be. They get one KO on beginners. This is a good start. Oh, wow. They've taken one down. Killing us also uh, under fire. There's Smoils towards the back there, maybe looking to get... They do get a KO back on the east, on the western side, rather. Yeah, we're down. No way, they lost it friendly. Woods. Moving. Oh, there's some fire coming out. A grenade catches him, he's out! This is really good now for beginners. That was 2-2, two, two, though. Look at Woods' aggressive push here. Look at Woods' flank move. He's coming around behind. There's, oh, wow, it's three on three now. We've got Landon almost on the objective, I think. Which is behind, going to try and catch. If Jordan comes around from this, he is getting caught out by Woods. No. Oh, no, Sinkas might catch him, though. Oh, they are practically in touching distance. Look, Sinkas is looking for, oh looking my for word. each other. Oh, my word. They see each other. They go oh, down. Sinkas wins Sinkas it. Sinkas wins it. It's a 2-1-2. Two two. It's a 2-1-1. One one. Woods is the only survivor now. This is huge for SMC Tactical. If they can win this, they are so close, but they are also 2-1 up. They okay, can so make so cap. Honey, Honey Half is nowhere near being able to support or do anything right now. He's in a, a really... Um, it's a good tactical position, but it's not a position where you can actually refrag or do anything to help out Mr. BV. What's taken out? It's 3 0. Seven points. Oh, in they're a row. doing it. They're really doing it. Yeah, I this is very, very close now. One point away uh, oh when they were match my. point down one map ago. It is a 
180 spin here. What on an these upset. Maps. What an absolute upset. Confidence exuding from SMC Tactical. And that beard just glistening <laughs> again with, yeah, with, with shining. This, I think it's I think it's helping them. I really do. I think it's, it was the light shining in the darkness. <laughs> Absolutely. It's like an idol they can take off the helmets, look at, and it just re-empowers them to go for victory. Hair. Is Beefy's true power. Oh well, yeah, you can see them. They're really, really feeling themselves. I hate that phrase, but I keep hearing it. No, it, it's in a good way. Yep. It, it, it's, it's an FGC thing. I need to stop it, honestly. Uh, but Landon Jordan, they're really getting into the emotion of that game. You can see him celebrating and getting a bit stressed out when he got taken down, but they won it. Beefy looking very much like like the commander of this team. That flipped so quickly on his head because one, uh, literally it went from beginners being well on top there. They had three enemies down, two en and two remaining, and then within the space of about five seconds, there was one beginner's left. 15 seconds until they get into it. This is match point for SMC Tactical. Okay, so we saw this last time though. It was 3-0. Are we going to see an upset by beginners? Are they going to swing this back? I'm crouched. I'm, cr I'm running. Or I'm not going to get a shot. Uh, he made it. They were all pre-firing in that direction, but the cross is real. That is a lot of ammo being used up there as well. That is a lot of... Um, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Spent ammunition? Yeah, well, spent am ammunition, yes. Um, well, they just kind of like... They put all their eggs in one basket there almost, it seems. There's a lot of uh, resources used up is what I'm looking for, yeah. Okay. So. okay. Thank you. But I'm um, okaying that one. Yeah, no, well, well, you. You. I'm that kind of guy. You are. Uh, so we now see the uh, beginners are doing the usual slow push. And, you know, it's such a different play style to SMC. We saw S and it, pick it works. They got a pick off. They the got patience pick, paid yeah. off, yeah. That coming out from the two players towards the back on the eastern side, just kind of clipping across those pipelines onto the other end of the map. Nice start. But this is, look at the difference in the play. Like, by this time, all of SMC Tactical were past the midpoint of the map. And they were probing, 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 moving cautiously but not slowly, whereas we're seeing cautious, slow play from beginners, which they're famous for. Yeah, Woods here is just uh, behind this barrel. Will he show himself on the right-hand side? He will we'll momentarily. Nope. Okay, no, he's behind some other, no, other cover. No, 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 yeah, he's behind a little bit more. But you can see that cross all the way to the other side. They've got three stacked up on that pipeline side. And in that central um, crate, you do have one player to the to the west and one player, I believe, Landon Jordan in the very, very center. Yes, indeed. And, and Pwncake. Landon Jordan making great, great plays today, by the way. Yeah, he's been playing very, very well. My personal MVP at the moment. I heard a grenade. It's a smoke grenade. Oh, wow. Look, Look at, at this that. flank from Pwncake. Smalls has no idea he's going to get taken down. And there he is. Smoils is looking the wrong way, and there's another kill! Wow! And there was that, there was that. Oh no, this upset is happening. It's three on three at the moment. Yeah, it's two KOs there for Pwncake. That was really good, but there was a takedown on the other side. Do they know so they've been flanked? Do they know they've been flanked? I do not know if they do. It's no longer a, a, such a strong flank, because there's two in the middle now. Not a great uh, coverage of the objective from two people in the same place, but look at uh, beginners down the east side of the map, causing a line. If they can have great views on repositioning defenders right now. Yeah. They just hold the position, they can get some pickoffs. Landon Are Jordan's been it? found yep. by Sincat, who can see him there. Doesn't get the KO, does he get the knockdown? He does get the knockdown, there's one down in the center. That was from Sincat, so Pone Cake and Landon Jordan. Oh, by Woods themselves. making back into cover, refragging. Did he get him? No. La it's Landon Jordan and Pwncake by themselves. They can see Woods goes, again, Woods goes down. Another Land KO for Landon Jordan. Yeah, Landon on fire. He is really, really fired up now. He's a flank. He's coming around now on. Will, will Peasley, he is Peasley aware? They know he's there. They know Pwncake he's there. Pwncake's zeroing in on him as well, though. This is exciting right now. This is really good for SMC TAC Tactical. If they can take down Peasley, it is a two on one. He's cornered. Look at these. You can see these players here. Landon Jordan with the grenade. Oh. It's the throw. He gets it. Two for one for SMTC Tactical. They are on the verge of the semis. It's one to one. Oh my god, this is too close. This is Pwncake. Pwncake down. Pwn cake. Oh, they get there. Beginners keep the dream alive. Beginners is 3 1. They stop the 8 0 flat victory. Sinkas there by himself wow. takes it down. He celebrates. Oh, yeah. It's not done yet. It's a big, big win for them. Very important.
You know, it's the second time I, I, I hit it repeat myself, but keeping the dream alive, that's, that's the uh, byline of this match today. Man, that was a <laughs> intense Woo! game. Landon and uh, Landon Jordan and Pokey did so well in that yeah, center, despite the fact what was going around, around them. But Sinkas getting the catches that he needed. The weakness there of the strength was they were zeroing in on a player they knew was there, but that let them be open on a flank. I don't know whether they thought that was, that was the solo player or something, because they played with only two of them left. They left the objective yeah. to zero in on that player. Not, yeah. not Maybe not realizing that he wasn't the last one left. Maybe they thought, genuinely thought they were safe to leave the objective, and then they got punished. They didn't lose an objective, fortunately for them, but they did get caught from behind unexpectedly. Yeah. And there's so much on the line as well, not, not just pride and victory as well, but we have a 10k prize pot available for our players. They are playing for for a nice cheeky little chunk of money as well. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. The very least, they're playing for money right now. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not the honor to fight against, against There it is. Squad. First, we'll be taking away 5,000. That'll be uh, between Globochem and whoever wins on the loser's side. Um, whoever, whoever does lose this match will go home with 1,000 and then uh, whoever wins will get at least 1,500 with second taking 2,000 as well. So there is a lot on the line. You can see Sinkas just preparing for this next round. He was the, the uh, winning player for beginners. So quite a moment for him. I beg my pardon, sorry. It's okay, completely fine. I didn't hear anything. I'm, well, pretty sure no one, no, I'm pretty sure no one else did. But the guilt is real. Anyway, <laughs> so <is> looking <laughs> back at the game ahead of us, we have got beginners on defense now. The defense hasn't held so far. We can see Sinky drawing tactics. They're obviously trying to update what they're thinking or what their maneuvers are because what they were trying before hasn't worked. They can see where the objective is, so they're probably setting up defensive positions to try and counter what they've seen SMC Tactical do. Yeah, they are on the defensive side here, so they do have a... Uh, I, you know, ideally they are on the stronger side. Defense is the does have the stronger side because obviously the point potential for the aggressive side is there. Let's just look at that. Look at look. This is VR right now. He's drawing on a on a, on a white on a on a map board, and they're discussing tactics. Yeah. Sink has clear visuality as well. Yeah, yeah, he's clearly the leader of this team. It seems, or at least kind of the major. This is actually his map. So th this he's. No, I think we should we should listen in to kind of yeah, hear yeah, right. hear the comms from our players right now. Here, and we need to smoke this. We need to smoke deep, so deep on the right side. So I need at least four attempts. I'm gonna grab two smokes. All right. All right, let's go. Great call on the audio there. There we go. So we are into this one. You could hear beginners getting everything sorted. They know how deep they need to go in to get into this, and how much they need to do. Uh, I think. think he might be getting some technical difficulties. Or it's either that or his feet, or he's aware of the light at this point. Just gonna. This is kind of disrupting because they had those, all those strats that they were just kind of just discussing. Might it's not 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 not, not like they'll disappear, but the the concentration and the readiness that they were had going into that just needs to stay there for these players. They still look ready. They don't seem to be taking off the VR oh, yeah, helmets. Yeah. They're still in this. Yeah, don't worry. They oh, are. Oh no. Okay, someone was sitting down. Well, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with sitting down. Yeah. I'm sitting down, you're sitting down. Yeah, fine. Sitting, down, sitting down is a legitimate tactic. <laughs> and onward it legitimately is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is intense right now. SMC Tactical have played absolutely phenomenally to get that 3-0 turnaround and win 4-3 at second map. To go 3-0 up and then beginners just to wrestle it back. It, it, it's the beginning of the fight back. It's a long way to go. It is an Everest of uh, uh, Everest level task right now. Yep. But um, it really, really is. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I've climbed Everest, and I know that playing this game is just as hard. <laughs> Listen, when you get to the top of that, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You look down on everyone. Yeah. Here we go. Game five is underway. Oh no! Sinky wasting his grenade. A really important grenade as well. So they frag or smoke deep, and then they're going to use that to move oh, forward. Here we look, go. Look at all these smokes going out to cover the movement. Is Killer going to make the rota rotation? Sinky also making a rotation. It's real close. They both took fire, but they both made it. There you go. They're both through. Yeah, you can see Killinger now on the far side flanking really, really Oh far. my gosh. This is such an aggressive defense for beginners. So unlike them. I love it. Are they used to that style of play, though? That's the question. Sinkas kind of get, trying to just kind of cover this back corner. Mr. Beefy coming round. Is Sinkas prepped for this? Le Can he catch Beefy? They are mirroring their attack pattern that they took in the last map. They are literally mirroring it. They've got three in exactly the same places they had when they were on attack. So they have lines of sight all the way down the middle of the map. Three different areas. Nice. 
He's going to wait for a player to appear. While Sinkas is here, he does have Killinger just behind him, able to catch out Beefy if he shows his face. Peasley on the floor. Sota showing himself. Peasley gets it. One game down. One wow. enemy down. Brilliant. So, so patient. Beginners all low right now when I look to my left. There's only one player standing up. The rest of the team all low. This is a stakeout. They got into positions. They're waiting. Here's Mr. Beefy. Does Beefy know Sinky's there? Does Sinky know Mr. Beefy's there? We've no way of telling. Okay. This moment of silence between these two players right now. It's just we are into the stalemate. Landon going to get underneath this crate. Can he see anyone? Look how, look at that underneath. position. I mean, he's in real life, he's really doing that. He, oh, gets, he gets punished. taken down, though. He's not... Defeated, he is down now. There we go. Oh, Two. Wow. Beefy looking for the refrag coming around. Sinkas on gets it. 3 0. 3 1 now in terms of KOs. Beginners have a 4 2 advantage. There was actually a trade in the bottom left hand corner of the map between two of the players. Let's see, I believe that was our tempo we saw there in the corner, just enjoying the games downstairs in the studio. I think we just saw Peasley die. And uh, I don't know who the SMC tactical player was, but it is 4 against 2. Beginners got the upper hand right now in defense. The aggressive defense maneuver really paying off. Yeah. You can see why they were calling for so many smokes at the start. They really wanted to cover that movement, so the yeah. SMC had no idea what they were in for. Only half here, just kind of bringing himself closer. Pwn Cake going towards the objective if he can. Down this central crate. We've got a uh, beginner's player in the very south who's got a direct line of sight to the objective, so I'm pretty sure Pwn Cake can't possibly get to the objective without crossing this player's line of sight. It's a great position from beginners. There he gets a catch of goodbye. It's four to one. This is a huge game for wow. beginners. They are almost taking the second round <laughs> that Huff, they need yeah. out of the four. Wow, yeah. I wouldn't want to be in Honey Huff's shoes right now. And again, remember, that would make it two, three, and they'd be on the aggressive side. And Honey Huff is wearing shoes. I just checked. Sorry, it's important to point out because yeah. some of them aren't. Um, so, Honey Huff now. He realizes he's alone. He's checked his tablet. Making his way forward. He's going to have to do something Doesn't aggressive. He's gun out, though. But there he can maybe get close to Pwn Cake to revive him. But he does know that if he has been defeated, that the enemies do have eyes on him. Oh, is but he going to... Is he going to get punished for rounding? He's going to get punished. He's going to get punished. There it goes down. And it is 3 2. SMC Tactical go down. It is very close right now. Wow. Oh, look at <laughs> the players are exhausted watching this. <laughs> there they are. You got Globochem there who are watching in anticipation to see who they're going to play a little bit later. But it is 3 2. Beginners on the Marsock side. A cap uh, is available. Oh, I want to see it. I Listen, I got nothing against SMC. I, I, I'm, I'm happy for either team to go through, but I really want to see beginners make a cap. How exciting would that be? It would be, it would be outstanding. It would be absolutely. It would be it, that is the clutchest play you can make. It really is. That, again, I don't have any favorites in this map. They're both wonderful teams, wonderful people, and they've, and they've both performed at the, to this point incredibly. Yeah, absolutely, like scintillating onward from both teams. I, I, I'd say this is the best onward we've seen all weekend. I know Mob Squad Global Chem was was, that was a great insane, game. but we are, they didn't. The, the final map, the third map, didn't have what we're seeing right now. It was a clean sweep from Global Chem, and what we're seeing here is a battle, yeah. a real battle between SMC and beginners. Yeah, and there's and there's this wonderful back and forth, and this adaptability in terms of strategy. They're trying different things. They've had a, a variety of different things. But we're going to just jump in and listen to SMC as they prepare for this fifth round. Okay, I got double smoke. I have, double smoke. I have, a, fr I have a frog. All right, good. Uh, At the time, run down. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Well, that is, uh, yeah. That's a given, of course. That one is easy to defend, though. Uh, guys, if you want to defend as well, that's a good spot. That's a good spot to be defending to. I'll be uh, going there again. And they are off on the way, it seems. You could just uh, hear the finale of that, uh, of that setup there. They have an idea, and they're going to see if they can make it into a, a reality, and not, and not a virtual one this time. We've got the same objective as beginners did previous rounds, so let's... Are they going to mirror beginners' tactics? They do throw out a quick smoke grenade to the side, so it seems like there is a similarity here. The pre-fire coming out from beginners down oh. that line. They've got a three-stack just peppering that area. 
Again, resources for this one coming out. They're having a little dance whilst they're doing it. Woo! Look at that three stack. I love it. Yeah. And they're not stopping. They have put, they're going to put it's, an entire mag out here. But it didn't stop the two SMC players making the cross. That was good from them. They did it. So we've got two on the right-hand side. Rather than the three, this is going to be very, very big game. Beginners on the aggressive side, the Marsoc side. You can see the three stack in real life as well there on the yeah. screen right now, guys. That was cool to see. That was amazing, but it didn't wasn't effective, unfortunately. And they've lost an attacker. Early takedown there on the side of SMC Tactical. They are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It's faint, but it's there. Sinky, who made the important plays earlier, he's out. This could really, really be a detriment. Well, that's obviously a detriment oh, to beginners, yeah, but it could yeah. be a game. Oh, no, Sinky's in. No? Who am I looking at then? Hmm. Um, you're seeing a person. Oh, yeah. a maybe Smoils. Maybe. Pone cake. No, Smoils is yeah. still active. It's, I think it's Woods. It doesn't matter the I mean, players who are active. Woods. It is Woods. Yeah. Bleeding, I'm not giving right? up. Sinky's still alive, and this is an important map for him. He was brought. He's gone down now. Kellinger, though, gets a KO back. So it's yeah. four to three. It's not over just yet, but it is very, very tense. Beginners have started the comeback. They've got a lot to play with still. Captain Sota coming around that corner. Oh, it's uh, a trade! Oh, it's a trade, but Captain Sota's still alive and resable. That is true as well. It's not the complete trade. We saw Smalls bring out his uh, iPad just now that's so he can check the map, see where his allies are and how many are still alive. Hampton is very, very close. He's going to get over there. He's going to go and res Sota. That means it's a four against two. Oh, beginners are up against it now. That is a massive res. It's not impossible. Killinger behind these barrels, pressurized. Peasley inside. Behind the barrels, but not up against the barrel just yet. This is so scary for them. This is it. This is their last stand at this point. It's four against God. two. The pressure they must both be feeling right now. Yeah, and there's a lot of people covering them as well. You, if you look onto that map, you can just see the lines of sight that they have and has so much map coverage. Yeah. But SMC aren't taking it for granted. They're still checking all the flanks. They don't know where the two remaining members are, and they may not even know that it's only two remaining members. Yeah, that's exactly true, yeah. Just let them come to us. Okay, they are, they are happy to hold the positions. They've got the strength in numbers around they, the objective, and, and they the, know it. And they can run out the clock. They only need one point. Yeah. But if, oh, I mean, they're just going to wait. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the global account, oh, sorry, beginners looking yeah, for, and yeah. they're aware that they're not going to be showing themselves. They've resigned themselves. What you got? Frag and a smoke. Frag and a smoke left on Peasley. And Dr. Killinger. You can see the players there. You can see SMT Tactical just moving slightly in that Landon. background. Yeah, Landon Jordan. I reckon we also should use the smoke. So close to that angle, they could take above down. This smoke is important now. They need to get this in the right position. They need to get this at the right time. And then, they, and then they need to make the right movement to get out of this situation. They are pretty much locked down here. Landon resetting something. He's back in. This is so intense. I mean, beginners are really on the back foot. One more, they lose this, they're out. And there's only two of them left. They are doubly outnumbered. Landon. Oh, Paisley and Landon, they're going to be squaring up down that line. Landon's got the corner on them. He doesn't know they're there, but. Landon's been made. Landon. He was in that corner before. Killing a calling out his position there. Landon's repositioning. Are they going to be convinced? Landon's going back to his old position. Two minutes left to go. They were ready for it, but they missed the shot. That was so important. He didn't it, get it, the KO. He got hit. He got injured, but he's still alive. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, look, he's going to get syringe now to get him back up. Oh. Yeah, that heal coming out, yeah. So interestingly, players you wouldn't see, but he would have a bleed timer on him there for a 2 minute 30 bleed timer. If he didn't get healed, he would go. He would just fall over, keel over dead. Yeah, low enough HP and it would be a, a, a bleed out time. Killinger moving to the left hand side, does not get caught out. Captain Soda knows where he is though. Been called, now it's a 1 1 split from beginners. They've really got to make this play, they've got no time left. 1 minute 20 on the clock. The pressure is against them. Doesn't get anything from that frag. A minute 10. Killinger needs to make something happen now. Oh, he's on the oh, other side. Wow. Will Lando have heard him? Oh, you can see this player coming around. Oh, Killinger no. playing with fire here, but needs to. Just so intense, Captain oh, Sobo. My word. These two do. He's not looking to the right. They get caught out. Taken down. Four versus one. It's all on Peasley now. 
Four versus three. Peasley got a KO back. Peasley's the man who can carry it off. Peasley we've been playing great for beginners today. It's, it's over, Lander takes him out. SMC are through to face off against Mob Squad. That is a huge thing. They get it back. There is wow. shouts and cheers. Listen it was terrifying there. Beginners had the 3 0 lead in that second map, lost it 4 3, went 3 0 up here. Beginners started their comeback, but SMC hold firm and take it 4 2 in map three. What an incredible game from these two teams. Look at them congratulating each other. That's good sportsmanship there. Oh, yeah, man. They are. They, I mean, that's the thing. They lost, but they know that everyone played brilliantly there. Yeah, incredible was, play from both teams. Oh, it was fantastic. It really was. I, Kensai, I spoke to him in, the, in between the games. He was kicking himself trying to make that cap earlier. Yeah. Instead of just trying to eliminate the last player. God, you can see it's so tense. It's so tense. But what, what yeah, just brilliant onward play. Oh, Kensai is going to be so, you know, Kensai is going to be blaming himself for this entire loss, even though he had nothing to do with that last round. Uh, his round in the bizarre, in, in bizarre when he was making that cap. Mm. Yeah. So wow. I mean, what a what a great game. I don't know. It had everything. It had everything. It I'm had trades. It. it had caps. It had you know comebacks. It had just oh man. Uh, it's uh, what, what more can you say? I'd say that was the best game we've had so far, and we've got two more. I mean, I, I can't disagree with that. I mean, there's going to be a lot that our analysts are going to have to say when we, when, when we do throw over to them a little bit later. But, I mean, it, it's just, ah, oh, you can just see how much it means to them as well. You know, the players are so into it. And, you know, you can see their physicality. They're getting involved. You see them sweating when they're coming out of these games. It's so intense when you're inside those headsets. You see them sweating after the first, the first <laughs> round of the first map, let alone all of the ones they've just had to play. Yeah, of course. Of we course. haven't seen SMC against our mob squad yet. No. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they were on the other side of the bracket and I think that's going to be the exciting thing we're just preparing for a, a, a quick interview so as soon as we, we have that that ready we'll throw down there but um, yeah, I've just been told that it's indeed ready so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and throw it over to Harry to have a chat with our winners SNC Tactical and yeah what a series that was I don't know where to begin but I think to start off with how are you feeling after that long really prolonged series very sore actually uh, my back's definitely killing me and we got one more too that's going to be a long day. This is the thing. You can tell from this game just in general, it takes a lot of stamina and a lot of physical work. But one of the other questions I want to ask is the fact that in that second map, you were 3-0 down. You were one round away from elimination. And just on that map and overall in the match, what changes was you able to make in order to progress further? Uh, I switched to an LMG and uh, just got really a lot more aggressive. Spent a lot of bullets, gave people extra mags. So we had, I think, two LMG mags in weapons firing simultaneously and just overwhelmed them. I think that's the thing, because with this game in general, you see that there's a lot of passive moments, but sometimes when you do play quite aggressive in certain rounds, it's quite unorthodox, I've noticed. And just for you, um, a few moments in that game, is there any key moments you saw, any key changes which you made, which kind of helped you throughout the rest of the match? Yeah, I think uh, we went at first very uh, slowly and that wasn't too working for us. Uh, then we went aggressive a little bit more, uh, certainly on cargo where I was rushing a little bit more. Uh, we got picks, they were not expecting that for sure. Cool, and I was going to say congratulations on your series. Obviously you will be playing against uh, Mob Squad next in the Losers Final. And Matt Pansy Nightfire, what do you think of that one? Uh, there's a lot to enjoy here. Thank you, Lethal, with Mr. Beefy and Honey Half there. Honey Half looking pleased and enjoying Mr. <laughs> Beefy explaining how he got it done. We'll break that down for you in a minute. But seven rounds on the bounce for SMC Tactical. Took them to the win on the second map and also close to the third. Beginners just hanging on at the end there. Mm. We, I, <sighs> I didn't want to say this could be a 4-0 sweep before we got into cargo. Yeah. I didn't know whether beginners were so broken by, you know, being in sight of a 2-0 win and then losing it to SMZ. I knew that was going to be a hard thing for them to climb back from. I wondered if a 4-0 sweep was possible. So credit to beginners for getting some rounds yeah. back on the board at the end there, but SMC yeah. were unstoppable eventually. Yeah, beginners seemed to dig their heels in a little yeah. bit. They, they did fight back. There was that pushback that we saw coming through. The initial start, I think, is what we kind of theorized and discussed, that SMC were on that bounce. They had that confidence coming in for them. They were feeling out the game. You know, your shots just feel like they're going to land. You know that your teammates are there with you trading effectively and keeping the scoreline going. But credit again to beginners for, as said, digging in heels, not being a pushover, showing why they got to this stage.
Yeah, some fantastic plays coming out on Cargo. A lot of grenades, uh, a lot of uh, shield play as we were expecting there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, so many <laughs> ridiculous back and forth like this. And you can see the emotion in these guys. They are so excited when they win rounds, pumping fists. And at the end of that last one, I could barely even hear myself. They were, they were cheering so loud. Yeah, a lot of emotion on that stage. Porncake roaring at the end of it. I'll give credit to Woods. Uh, on Beginners, who was the first one uh, to go over and shake hands and say well done to SMZ. That was a good scrap between them. you think Beginners would be uh, broken by that one, but actually they looked like at the end of that, oh, okay, yeah, fair dues SMZ, well done. And well done to them too. I'm really excited to see what they bring against Mob Squad when we get to that game in due course, because they are ready for it now. Yeah, and yep. you saw Beefy, he thinks he only has one more series left. Potentially he could have two. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> His back's already hurt. <laughs> it's going to be the long haul for him today. So, yeah, let's get some deep heat Kiss. going, something like that, you know. <laughs> Just <laughs> anything to help the guy out. But you said it, it's physical. These are long series. These aren't clean wins. These aren't quick. These yeah. aren't easy. This is all three maps. This is a long way of going through things. And I mean, this is going to wear heavily on these players. It's going to be tough. 4-2, four, 4-3, two, four, four, two, in different ways, but those are the scores. <laughs> that's the lounge, that's Globo Chem with the red names on the shirts. That's Globo Chem waiting for a grand final against one of Mob Squad or SMC. We'll talk about that in due course and see who that's going to be. That's our next game, so don't go very far. Yeah, I thought uh, one point of interest was Mr. Beefy saying there yeah. he uses, uh, they had multiple LMG cliffs in use. Now, jokingly, in, this, in the show match, we oh, saw yeah. Radar. That's the end, that's the win, that's Pong Ake. We saw Radar selling uh, mags. Yep. That actually yep. happened in this tactical play here. He gave a drum mag to his teammates and they could push what? out additional suppressive. Fire. What What do you mean? What do you mean? Giving, selling to mags to teammates <laughs> so they can additionally suppress? Well, with the, uh, with, the new, with the new patch, you can now trade anything on your chest, anything okay. on your vest. So you can actually be discussing in the lobby, hey, Make sure you go in LMG so that I can, and I'll run this, uh, I'll run a weapon that uses the same ammo, and then when we get into the game, you can give me your clip, and I can have a 100 round magazine on an assault rifle instead of a 100, uh, 30 round magazine. Yeah. The reason okay, so there's a maximum amount of ammo you can bring into the game, but a teammate could give you theirs. Yeah, and the, and the reason you wouldn't pick two LMGs is because it's not an option. You have a certain amount of classes that you're able to select from assault, rifle, uh, marksman, so, uh, you know, submachine yeah, guns, yeah. or LMGs, and it's pretty awesome to see these strategies coming out already in a competitive scene like this. Mm. 100 rounds. Do you reckon he fired them all? On a map, but if you're looking at like cargo, for example, can you imagine how small that map is with that many rounds? Like, yeah. crossing anywhere, there's already Death Alley on that map, but you've already seen like players just <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, avoiding yeah. this huge area. We can't cross that, and the smokes are up. We've seen teams being punished for it. Yeah. So um, beginners lay down like the first round, just like yep. somebody was dead before we'd gone. even gone in really anywhere. So yeah, you can imagine what more damage can be done, even in these close quarter maps, if you get that situation right, where you can lay down that suppressing fire, creates so much room. Yeah, and we've talked about time to kill in this game a lot. <laughs> suppressive fire is a massive element. It really lets, it really is a thing. You think in most games, ah, he's just shooting at me, it's not gonna do much, mm -hmm. I can run past it. You can't afford to pop up and run past suppressive fire, you're gonna go down. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Whew, it's been quite a long day. <laughs> There's only one game, game one. done. Look, mm. this is what it looks like. We'll show you the bracket. Remember, we're completing the loser side of things, heading up to our grand final. At some point, weeks ago, Global Game and Mod Squad <laughs> played. And it was 2-1 in distant memory. I think in black and white games back in those days. 2-0-1 here, SMZ Tactical against Beginners. So we say goodbye to Beginners and the only European representative of the Onward Invitational. They'll go out of this in fourth place. And SMZ Tactical fired up and ready to face up against Mob Squad. That's a short way away, don't disappear in the meantime. And uh, we are, of course, promoting the brilliant work by Stack Up here, an amazing charity to support US and allied veterans through gaming, whether that be sending games and consoles and controllers to guys and uh, female soldiers in, you know, wherever in conflict around the world to give them something that they love from back home and to hold, you know, communities together, or for people who've retired from service and, uh, you know, can stay in touch and enjoy this amazing thing that we all love, um, but perhaps haven't got the means to get it. So, Stack Up do amazing work. Find out more about that at stackup.org and please donate at esl.im slash donate. We have beginners out. We have a deciding match to play between Mob Squad and SMC Tactical. The winner of that will go on to our grand final against Globochem. Sometime in the near future, perhaps. Maybe. We'll find out soon. <laughs> uh, Mob Squad against SMC. That's a real scrap. That's to you next. Don't go away.
Drive box. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Nothing great ever happened without a witness. Oh, yes, all that. With the power to capture comes the need to share. Check this. Oh. Followed by the eyeballs and loud mouths chomping at the bit. That was nuts. The fate of the game rests in your hands. Check this out. No. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Leave nothing to chance. Woo. Game, record, and stream without compromise. Only on Intel Core i7.